what it's like to fight in wars, and a lot of times you have civilian casualties in war that no one wants to see, maybe no one except for Hamas, because what Hamas wants to do is have a lot of civilian casualties, and they use this strategy of human shields for a reason, because they think it works. They think that Israel will be blamed for these civilian casualties, uh, and that they will achieve something by having Israel pressured and Israel blamed by those casualties. I hope that that doesn't happen. I appreciate the strong support we've gotten from both the president and the secretary for Israel's right to defend itself. All right, I want to ask you about that because Michael Oren, who's a former Israeli ambassador to the U.S. and now a CNN analyst, has written an op-ed decrying the international media as complicit in Hamas's plan, essentially accusing the media of being tools of a Hamas propaganda effort because it broadcasts pictures of civilian deaths. Clearly, you see that the same way then. Uh, I do, uh, but I don't, I don't, first of all, let's, let's separate categories. Hamas intends to harm Palestinian civilians and to harm Israeli civilians. The more civilians they kill, the better for them. If civilian, Palestinian civilians die and they can use that in their propaganda campaign against Israel, so be it. The media is different. The media is obviously looking for a story. Uh, you have these heart-wrenching photos, you have a Palestinian civilian who's killed, you have four kids who would be killed on a beach. Obviously, everybody feels that. Now, I see a picture like that, it's very hard. But in, in placing the blame on Israel, they are unwitting accomplices to what Hamas is trying to do. And ultimately, what that will do is send a message to Hamas and terror organizations everywhere, by the way, that if you use human shields, that strategy will work. The issue is, who do you put the blame on? You are now speaking to Israel's ambassador, and you asked me about civilian casualties. The address for civilian casualties is Hamas. Why did you put missiles next to a hospital? Why are you using Listen, a children's Mr. Blade, ambassador, a playground Mr. to ambassador, fire with all due respect, I asked you about civilian casualties. That was one of my first questions. The last question I asked you about was what Michael Lawrence said about the media. I asked you about media coverage in this particular Right, no, I don't, I don't blame the media in any way for covering the issue. I don't have a problem with the media putting those pictures on television. The question is, who will those pictures pressure? Will pressure be brought uh, to bear on Israel or will they be, it be brought to bear on Hamas? Hamas should be responsible for the use of human shields. They are putting missiles and military command centers in hospitals, for crying out loud. That's something that the world should be outraged about. Not outraged at Israel for defending itself against this rocket attack, but outraged at Hamas for using its own people as human shields. Yeah. I, think, I think the thing is, is what people who are watching the media may not have such a, should say, stake in all of this, and they're looking at pictures of people who are just being injured, and they're saying people are people, regardless of whether you are I, Palestinian or I Israeli, agree. and it's awful to see. I agree. Okay. I agree. But understand what the consequences could be. If human shields is an effective strategy, it will be used again and again. And if human shields is not an effective strategy, it's less likely to be used. That's the simple truth. Ambassador Dermer, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you.